let's start with what are the benefits of being exposed to the sun? Well, of course, most people know that it increases your vitamin D. Simply the rays of the sun hitting your skin goes through these enzymatic actions that lead to cholesterol producing vitamin D in your body. And we'll get into what are all the benefits of vitamin D so that people can on, understand what the importance of vitamin D is and then what happens when you don't have enough vitamin D. But yes, the sun does increase vitamin D and the beautiful thing about being exposed to the sun to increase your vitamin D versus a supplement is that when you increase your vitamin D with the sun, you can store that vitamin D. Meaning when we go into the months of the year, the fall and the winter months where we're not getting a lot of sun exposure, this is when you're seeing the sun go down much quicker. Well, you'll be taking those vitamin D stores that you actually built up during this time, during the spring, and then going into the summer, you'll be able to take those vitamin D stores into the fall and winter, and they'll be able to sustain you through that period until we get back to the spring again. So that's really important for people to understand as a benefit of sun exposure, okay? Number two, it regulates our sleep-wake cycles, okay? How we sleep and we wake, okay? Hugely important. So it regulates our sleep, because it triggers the release of melatonin. And it does this by almost regulating the hormones cortisol and melatonin. So if we get up early in the morning and we're able to be exposed to the sun where the sun can actually hit the back of the retina of the eye, that will trigger the release of cortisol throughout the day that slowly dips. And as it dips, the melatonin 12 hours later begins to increase in the body which is perfect. So let's say for instance, you get sun exposure at nine, nine in the morning. Okay, 12 hours later at 9 p.m. at night, the cortisol levels are gonna start to trend down, which means that you're gonna start to feel more relaxed. Okay, the melatonin levels are gonna start to trigger, trigger up, which means you're gonna start to feel a little sleepy. Perfect timing, okay? So that's a huge benefit of sunlight exposure, okay? That you don't get from a vitamin D supplement, all right? Which is a whole nother conversation. Also mood stabilization. And why is that? Because when you're exposed to the sun, it also triggers the release of serotonin, okay? Many people who are on antidepressants are on an antidepressant that is called a SSRI, a serotonin reuptake inhibitor like Zoloft, okay? So instead of taking that, why not get proper sun exposure, consistent sun exposure, build up your vitamin D stores, and then this way you're actually triggering that serotonin for yourself instead of having a drug to do it, okay? Hugely important, all right? So mood stabilization, because we know that people who are vitamin D deficient also end up having symptoms of depression as well too, hugely important. And when you think about the cities that get the least amount of sun, cities like Seattle, Washington, and get the most amount of rain, these are the cities that often have the highest suicide rates as well, too. So that's hugely important. Sun exposure is also beneficial because the UV light is actually antibacterial. All right. It actually helps to fight infection just by being exposed to the UV light, the sun, sun rays. OK, so it helps to inhibit tetanus, typhoid, staph, strep, and even TB, okay? So you're also giving yourself a natural antibiotic as well too by getting sun exposure, okay? So hugely important. It also helps, as I mentioned earlier, to regulate cortisol levels. And cortisol levels, when they're consistently elevated, your body will feel not only stress, but elevated cortisol levels will tell your body to actually store fat, okay? So the more fat you're going to have on your body because you have elevated cortisol levels, because you're not getting sun exposure, which it basically triggers your body to say, let's start to sort of uh, deplete the cortisol levels over time, over a 12-hour period, all right? So that's really important as well, too. Helps with stress, helps with Maintaining a healthy weight as well, too. All right. Also helps to lower blood pressure as well, too. All right. So hugely important. And it also improves wound healing. So 
if I had a wound that I wanted to heal, one of the things that I would do is get sun exposure. I would be outside, okay? Now, of course, you protect the wound, but at the end of the day, you simply being outside is actually going to help the healing process when it comes to the wound as well, too. Now, let's get into vitamin D. And I think the most important, I guess, point to start with vitamin D is, is the fact that vitamin D is actually not a vitamin at all. It's actually a hormone. All right. And that's hugely important because what we've been talking about during this conversation, much of which has been hormones, the serotonin, the cortisol, the melatonin. All right. So vitamin D in and of itself is a hormone. All right. So when you throw one hormone off, you throw all hormones off. OK. And considering, again, 80 percent of people who are melanated, OK, black and brown people are actually vitamin D deficient. Okay, so this is a huge issue. And let me explain why this is a huge issue, is that vitamin D, the symptoms that are connected with the deficiency of vitamin D. All right, so let's start with that. Chronic fatigue, you're gonna feel fatigued all the time. Okay, so that's a big issue. Bone health issues, you will start to have fragile bones. And the reason why is because in the absence of adequate levels of vitamin D, calcium would, would not be properly absorbed, nor would phosphorus, okay? And 99% of the calcium is in your bones. And if you don't have calcium in your bones, you're gonna have brittle bones, okay? So that's why vitamin D is also important for your bone health. Also really, really important for your immune health as well too, all right? Your vitamin D is essentially like a remote control for your immune system, all right? It, it, it can turn your immune system on. It can turn it off. It could find channels, okay? And what I mean by finding channels is your vitamin D will help your immune system find certain viruses, find certain, you know, bacteria, and even find cancers, okay? Because... The thing about all of those things, viruses, cancers, they can put things around themselves to cloak themselves so that you don't see them, okay? And that's very easy when you have inadequate vitamin D levels, okay? So this could be also why people who are melanated and who have low vitamin D levels, also when they get cancers, they're much more aggressive like colon cancer far more aggressive in people who are melanated because 80% of the population is vitamin D deficient than when we look at our uh, Caucasian counterparts. Okay, so it's, and when you look at the, the ease with which, it's very easy for somebody who is fair skinned to get more sun exposure and more vitamin D versus somebody who is very melanated like myself because this melanin is, is sort of, designed to actually reflect the sunlight because we evolved around the equator where the sun is more focused than any other place on the earth. Okay, so really important for our immune health in fighting infections and fighting cancer. Okay, so if you want to fight cancer or fight an infection and you're vitamin D deficient, you're putting yourself at a, at a great disadvantage. Okay, also another symptom will be poor sleep. Okay, and I mentioned that before because vitamin D and the sun is critical for our sleep-wake cycle. So it's really important for that as well too. Um, depression, as I mentioned before, uh, because it's very connected in triggering the release of serotonin. Hair loss. So if you all of a sudden are losing hair and you notice when you look in your family, there's no, there's no genetic connection to it and you just start to lose hair, it could be because of that persistent vitamin D deficiency that you have not corrected, okay? Um, loss of appetite, muscle weakness as well too. So you go to the gym, you try to work out, but you just feel overall weak whenever you are in the gym or working out or just simply walking. Uh, you're prone to sickness. As I mentioned before, vitamin D is like a remote control for our immune system. So of course, when you don't have adequate vitamin D levels, it's gonna make it much more easy for a bacteria, a virus, or even cancer to persist in the body. So that's another 
huge symptom as well too. And one of the best ways, now listen up, one of the best ways to detect whether or not you have very low vitamin D levels is what I call the bone knock test. Okay, so you just take your knuckles and you knock on your shin, okay? If that is painful, if that hurts, that's a very good indication that you have very low vitamin D levels, okay?